All right, what is up, you guys? Because all, always welcome back to the OEM oh, yeah, versus Baba and uh, what appears to be um, Sun, right? Just gonna take a picture of the team because that's something I really forget. Um, Sun is not the most exciting thing I got. Uh, for sure. Um, x -tail is kind of really good though if you get it right. So we're gonna start off with... Well, our Nido King is really good. Um, I think Torkoal is a solid lead and... Um, I need to keep... Well, this guy around for quite some time. Venusaur could very well sweep my team, honestly. And of course, Clefable uh, without Nido King does put a huge amount of pressure on my team. Uh, really is fun to see um, Venusaur this often. I mean, for the like Sun teams right now, I think Victory Valley is vastly superior. Yet we see people still bring in Venusaur, which it has better defensive merits, of course. And I can only assume that's the reason why we would pick it. Uh, and it still hurts. Like, while it doesn't have the Weather Ball right now, it still is something to be hard to be dealing with. So why not, right? Though I can't wait to... Um, well, to see... Um, Pokemon Home open up and they change the meta forever because there are so many moves that are yet to be in this game and if they are possible to get in here they could change the meta quite a lot. Um, I'm looking at the Laudio Tweens with you know, getting Ice and Dora Sphere which I think would uh, dramatically make your know, band them straight off really. Starting with Rafal, which is definitely fair. Uh, my easiest move, I have all, I always have to go for Earth Power versus this. Um, I do have access to self rocks though, and I figure whether or not it's more important getting my rocks up should force it out, right? It's nothing he can do to me that would uh, punish me too much, I think. Hopefully, I don't know. Do you know? I don't. But yeah, rocks. I need, I need to get rocks. His spinner. What could that have been? I mean, it could be his own Torkoal, I guess. Cliff Abel is kind of annoying. Um, he has good switch-ins though, like... Uh, he, she could, um, probably a she. Doesn't matter, Baba. I mean, I remember Baba from Spirit of Fire too. That was a that was a very bulky male. Um, but I think if my opponent were playing this smart, it would be more likely going for something like, um, well, either switching Charizard, hoping I don't go for a Sludge Wave, or well, more likely, really. Um, <laughs> Just getting off rocks, we change that. Uh, take quite some time to make a make a call. So I go for my own rocks, which means my opponent stays in. Another part would have been nice. And retaliation is with a retaliating stealth rock. Nice. So, in contrast, let's think about this. My opponent could possibly spin. I think Earth Power is a no-brainer for me. Uh, could take it out and allow my opponent to really hurt me a lot. We do take it out straight off though. But that that helps. So now I'm gonna find the means to deal with them. Um... Wait, lost HP? No, am I not sheer force? No, 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 no. That that ain't right. That ain't right. Why did that happen? <laughs> All right, I guess I gotta check that out. If so, I can need to. Um... Retailer my Nidoking, King, as one would say. Huh. No wonder hasn't done any wonders for me. Hey. Alright, come on. Got a 20 minute timer. I kinda, I kinda have to make this thing go, right? Here comes the Venusaur. It's gonna ruin my life. Um, I do have switch in still, but right now I'm just going. It, it's Poison Point! Fuck me. That oh, was um, tremendously awful. Uh, Alpha Max can soak a few hit, possibly. It is a sack play at best. Why? Why are you poison point? Um, but yeah, I mean, Grass Move should be the, the obvious like play, I think. Why? It still killed the Torkoal, but why? The damage output just straight up lost it. Let's see, he goes for Giga Drain. We're gonna take that quite right. Because we're just that good. Now, a Sludge Bomb, however, would not be as pretty. 
But if my opponent goes for a sludge bomb, then uh, then I take it out, of course. I don't believe it kills me. You know I am offensive. A good switch in would be Cliff Able. Let's find out. Switch it out, fair enough. To yeah, there we go. So a good neutral hit. Uh, let's see. It is not it is not unaware. That's good. Or it is unaware, I mean, not um Damn it, it is actually unaware. I can't boost versus this. That that's not great at all. A Moonblast absolutely ruins me. I don't enjoy switching into this. And with Nidoking King not being um, the solid set, you know, wow, this is gonna be problematic. Right, exhale, let's go. I hope for a Moonblast, but really, like, it could go for just annoyance with Thunder Wave. I really don't have any means of actually checking this, rather coming in and out, and I know one switch into a Moonblast is probably all I can do. Right? Right? Ooh, yes! That's right, baby! That's what I'm talking about! So... Earth Power. Right? I think that's the play. Because my opponent has to go to Lucario to make, you know, the next level play. As I am right now. Why are you poison boy? I can't let that go! <laughs> what a... What a massive... Um, Failure. No, come on, Charizard. That's you. You mean you mean to tell me you were actually going to sack this? That's um, that's phenomenal. I am absolutely defeated by this. What a no. But I mean, I can only play this guy so many times. I can't lose Exhale. At least not yet. Fire move is plenty. I don't want to just lose. You may. When I can't switch through aspects, which would be incredible. Alpha Max is not going to do a whole lot, at least not yet. But however, it does outspeed, which is great. Would you go for a Solar Beam? No, I got a Sack Galactus. It is my least value Pokemon for this matchup. I, I don't get it though. What if I went for a Sludge Wave? That would have killed the Shards. I, oh, it is over my head. I, I don't get it. Solar Beam. All right. Thing is though, I think I can soak this even with solar power. Yeah. And I mean a skull possibly killed, but Thunderbolt is kinda safe. Thunderway would be nice. But yeah, Thunderbolt is my easy play. Um there is no reason my opponent to switch out as it, the shards are still dead. Ooh! It is scarfed! Hey, that is weird. I think. All right. I mean, that takes out me. Yay. Oz. Okay. Sunlight faded. Hell yeah. My turn. And you are locked into that. That that has that's gotta be a thing, though. That's gotta be a thing. You're absolutely ruined. Huh. All right. I know exactly what to do. Because <laughs> you are locked in. So I can set up a layer of spikes. Maybe two. Maybe three. Maybe I should not get too greedy. Because <laughs> I mean... I'm just thinking here. Um, I clearly switch in Safira here. Um, as I can actually recover through all of this, I don't need to care about the Charizard at all. It is an absolute sitting duck. Which is quite right. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, this is not gonna do a whole lot. Yeah, no. I can roost this off with ease and I can get myself back on track. I have no idea what my opponent wants to do through this. Like I said, like I have um, a, 
a pretty weird momentum situation. I'm I'm not sure locking yourself into um, yeah, you, you'd rather kill it on a switch in, right? Clefable and stealth rocks and spikes. Yeah, it's gonna sting, isn't it? So my opponent is forced to softball, of course. Um not too scared about Moonblast, at least not yet, and now I'm back on track. Because it gets softball, right? I did get Wish only right now, I can't remember. Yeah, I mean, X-Tail, gotta, um, gotta flex my muscles a little bit. I can only assume, like I said, there was the, um, the easy play, which is um, softballing, poison points. Moonlight, oh yeah, that's a thing. And with a Sun Team, why not, right? That's fair. It's so dumb. Why? How could I not get Share Force on this? Please touch me. Please touch me, I beg of you. So, Sack to Charizard, right? Now, I had two options, but really, like, consider the way my opponent brought it in last time. I think this was the easiest play to, for me to make. Um, I don't believe I beat Venusaur. However, I should outspeed it. But without Sheer Force, I'm not sure how much damage I'll do. Oh, yeah, the Guard Chump, I remember. Fuck. Totally forgot about him. Um... Yeah, I'm predicting Outrage, the neutral Outrage. If it goes for Earthquake, um, I mean, I just switch in Safira, right? There is no way this should be Scarf, though. It could be, but it shouldn't be. Takes some time to make the, I mean, how could I forget Garchomp? Like, I remember Venusaur, I remember Lucario for some reason. But Garchomp, nah, -uh, not a threat, right? That's we're, we're not we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm being way over my head. All right, goes to Dragon Claw. Yeah, no, no, gotta play it rough. So switch in Venusaur, right? That's going to be the easy play, or Sack Garchomp for all I care. Should carry possibly Poison Jab, since that Dragon Claw not Outrage. By the way, good neutral. I think, I think that was a like a fair play. And I'm not sure how much a poison jab will do, but Assumeril's massive HP should be able to um, avoid me off the worst, so to speak. Let's see, withdraws, nice. Goes into the Venusaur, yeah. Predicted that, or rather, it was a pretty nice neutral play. Let's see, play rough will do. Um, Oh, hey! Hell yeah! Ah, looks about right. Um, I'm gonna predict either Synthesis or I don't think it's more likely. Um, straight up Sludge Bomb. Right? No! No! I don't know about that. Oh, still did a lot though. Fair enough, don't mind me, oh the crit, I was like, it should be resisted, I should not have been able to feel that, and yet I do. Oh yeah, life orb, sure. Right, and my easy play is Earthquake, should hit everything on the field, and it should also invite Clefable. Which I absolutely sack play versus. I think a Sumeril due to huge power should be able to uh, pop it. You can't save it. Or you can, but I'm not sure it can't switch in again anyway. So there we go. Gotta get my Muxi. And my opponent should be able to switch in Clefable and just go for a Moonblast and take me out. And I hope an Earthquake should do... Um, it shouldn't do plenty. I'll give you guys that. It definitely shouldn't. But it should do enough where um, a Sumeril should be able to pick it off. I hope.
By the way, I like super glad I made a more OU orientated, orientated, orient, oriented team. Oh, switching card shop. All right, so I gotta assume this is scarfed. I hope it is. And lock yourself into something weird because if not, this earthquake is gonna sting. Would you have two scarfers though? I mean, yeah, right? No, no, this is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice. Poison jab. That's resisted as all hell. That's not gonna. What? Wait, it's not res. Wait, no. That's that's cheating. No. At least we know now that it's not scarfed, which is great. It means bonus dias. You are now mine. Now I could spike up another round for sure. But I also just could uh, Ice Beam. If um, some reason Clefable comes in, I'm gonna just switch a room. Actually, I'm Specs, that's not possible. <sighs> Let's see, Lucario. Why did I just lock myself into Shadow Ball then? Just what a massive power up pitch, right? No. <laughs> this could actually cost me the game. <laughs> that was not a good play. That was not a good play. Depending on the Lucario, that was not a good play. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> Let's see. Clefable comes in. Now, this would have been tremendous if I could have switched up moves. That's for sure. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure I could just Ice Beam uh, and then after bring in my Poison Point Nido King because that's a thing. And we'll take things from there. I gotta assume it has Fire Blast. Ah, that did good though. Ooh, Calm Mind. Did not expect that. That's not great. Is it Mono Attacking is the question. Uh, yeah, use the pump. Gotta get those waterfall flinches, I guess. Not what I wanted to see, honestly. Um, only positive part here is that I can lock my opponent in with a bit of luck. But I think my opponent has to Moonblast on this. I think so. And like I said, a waterfall flinch would have be wouldn't be would be great. Because I don't believe I have a 2-hit kill range on it. Oh, pfft, please, whatever. <laughs> Listen, this Moonblast will do... Nope. It will do nope, Clefable. It is not going to work on me. I am absolutely power hours in your bitch right now. So get out of my sights. Hell, yes. Gonna unaware call mine me, please. Can't death check for shit, buddy. Gonna eat you alive. Um, now, sadly, due to the last one being a Lucario, it could have priority bullet punch, which means I can't switch out versus this, but I mean, this aggression was plenty. For sure. Here comes Lucario! And depending on the set, look at the spike. Oh, it is not pretty to see. Let's see. What moves do we got? Physical, special, weirdo, soul stance. Oh no, 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 no. That is not what you do here. That is not what you do. Thank you and good night. Poor Jen mascot my ass. There we go. Thank you so much, Battle for the Game. GG. That turned out to be rather intense anyway. And I hope you guys, of course, as always, enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, as always, take care, one right.